Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video. And in this one, I'm going to be going over some insane updates which will be hitting the game as early as next week. Now, as you guys probably know, the season will be coming to a close next Tuesday. And after this, we will be getting a huge patch which will be changing the game in many, many ways. So in this video, guys, I know a lot of you guys love playing the DMZ. And so in this video, I'm just going to be touching on the DMZ updates, which will be coming to the game. Now, if you guys want to see more about other updates that are coming out, just simply let me know down in the comments and I can go into depth on some of the other game modes, like what's going on with multiplayer and Warzone as well. But for just for now, guys, we're going to just stick to the DMZ updates. Now, the DMZ in its current state right now actually is a lot better than it was in Season 1, and they are currently working on improving it every single season. Now, in Season 2, we got ourselves a new faction, and they also reworked most of the missions and things like that just to make the quality of life of the game better and to fix a lot of the major bugs which were going on. So in Season 2, we actually pretty much got a complete revamp of DMZ. You remember our classes being reset, things like that, all the missions being reset. Now in Season 3, things will change a bit. It doesn't look like they're going to be resetting our missions, so any progress you guys made this season will continue on. However, we will be getting a new faction all over again. So last season, we got the Crown Faction. This time around, we're actually going to be getting another faction. It will be called Redacted this time around. So I'm expecting to see five tiers of missions. Now, unlike last season, they're actually not going to be dropping all of the missions at once. Uh, to get started, you will only be able to uh, complete the first three tiers of the missions. And then during the mid-season update, we will see uh, the rest of the tiers unlock and be playable. So you can expect new missions to be hitting the game as soon as the season drops on Tuesday. Now, not only will, be getting, will we be getting these brand new faction missions, but we're also going to be getting some other overhaul changes as well. They're going to be uh, adding in a bartering system, a workbench, and some other things. So to get started, guys, the first thing that we're going, they're going to be adding is this brand new bartering system. So this is going to be a big change to the game. It's one of the biggest additions since the launch of DMZ, and it is a way to award operators who stock up on items and can reach a buy station to swap them out for other valuables. So if you're the one kind of person that will pick up, let's say, like comic books and things like that, things that you know are worth money to sell, you will be able to actually go in here and actually do something with those items now. It's not just going to be strictly for cash like it was prior. You'll actually be able to pick up some items and swap them out for other things which you may need for missions or you might just need to survive. So other than that, guys, other than the bartering system, we're actually going to be getting a workbench as well. So another major addition to the DMZ will be the workbench, which will be found right next to most of the buy stations. And what this will do will actually allow you to modify your contraband weapons. So for a little bit of cash, the workbench will allow you to add attachments that have unlocked from the contraband's weapon platform onto a piece of contraband or move them piece by piece. So this will help quite a bit if you end up picking up a piece of contraband weapon and don't necessarily like some of the scopes and things like that that are on them. You will now be able to go to the workbenches and swap out those attachments for what it is that you actually like. So another major change that they will be making to the DMZ is actually these active duty operator slots. So previously you would just have that one creative class that you'd be able to go into and obviously you'd have your insured slots, things like that. But in season three, you won't just have one operator to infiltrate with you will actually be able to swap around and have different ones. So the way this is gonna work is, is that every player will start with three active duty operator slots, which uh, equates to having three separate operators. So each operator will have their own on soldier items, sort of like create a class. You can create an operator class now. So these items will include your backpack, plate carriers, kill streaks, self revive, and your gas mask right off the bat. So for every infiltration, you can choose which active duty operator you bring in meaning that you can calculate risk to whatever mission you want to tackle or the type of experience you want to have for that match. So for example, you can have an active duty operator saved up for the major story mission in building 21 runs, stacked up with three play car carriers, self-revive kits, and more. And then you can have another active duty operator that's ready just to go scavenge items and stuff like that. So you can always have these different classes ready to go, just depending on what missions and things you plan to do when you're in the DMZ. Now, another thing that they're going to be adding to the DMZ alongside these giant operator changes is actually some new bosses. So not only will we be able to have all these fresh changes, new, uh, new missions and things like that, but there's actually going to be special bosses which are located on El Mazra. So it says operators should prepare to face new threats across the various exclusion zones as there are not only one, but there is actually two new bosses that have been added. So as of right now, there's actually going to be a brand new explorable area underneath uh, Mazra, which has never been seen before. And it does say that one of the bosses will most likely be located in this brand new area. 
So as of right now, we don't really know too much about these bosses or these brand new areas that they're bringing into El Mazra, but there will be a dedicated patch note or like a dedicated update that they will be releasing sometime over the weekend. So obviously, as soon as that drops, guys, I will be sure to make another video letting you guys know exactly what's going on. But as of right now, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know exactly what's going on with the DMZ because obviously a lot of you guys love playing it. I love playing it as well. And we're going to be getting some new missions to complete and new things to unlock through those missions. So I'm honestly pretty hyped for Tuesday. I will be definitely getting on the game as soon as this update drops to cover all of these missions for you guys like I have in the past. So like I said, guys, this is just a DMZ portion of the update. There's actually some massive major changes they're making to Warzone as well as the multiplayer as well. So if you guys want me to make more in-depth video showing you guys basically everything that will be coming in the new season, simply let me know down in the comments and I'll get started on that. So hopefully this helps you guys out along the way. Let you, just to let you guys know, this update will be going live on Tuesday. So be sure to probably try to get on on like Monday and try to pre-download that update as usual. And I will see you guys in the DMZ. Peace.